Wisdom of the Ages by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. Sit in a room alone. Observe your mind. Keep track of thoughts that enter, exit, and lead to the next thought. Everything you carry around with you that you call a belief has become your own largely because of the experiences and testimonies of other people. Patience is a key ingredient in the process of the natural world and in our personal world. Great things have no fear of time. Impatience breeds fear, stress, and discouragement. Patience manifests in confidence, decisiveness, and a feeling of peaceful satisfaction. Think of what you are doing in increments of five centuries rather than five minutes. When you are in a centered state of purpose, you activate forces in the universe that were previously out of your range. What you need will show up. The right person will be there on time. The phone call will come. The missing pieces will be brought to you. It makes no sense to worry about the things you have no control over. Ask yourself, can I do anything about this? If it is out of your control, let it go. If there is anything you can do, shift gears and work on a strategy. Anytime you confront a problem that you feel is impossible to solve, Remind yourself that this is nothing more than a solution waiting to happen. If you can't see the solution, begin the process of investigating who can. Remove impossible from your vocabulary entirely. The invisible being living within us has no boundaries or form, no beginning or end. This invisible being is ageless. It's the eternal child in each of us. Heaven is not a place with borders, perimeters, edges, and precincts. God is everywhere. There is no place that God is not, and this includes you. When you are eating, you are ingesting God and replenishing God. When you sleep, you breathe in God and allow God to rest. God is in you, with you, behind you, before you, all around you, and can be felt everywhere. It is our opinions of things, and not the things themselves, that cause the disturbances in our lives. You don't have to change what you see, only the way you see it. Enlightenment won't set you free. You become freedom itself. One of life's greatest illusion is the belief that the past is responsible for our current lives. The past is over. It is not subject to rewind or recall. Live today. Let go of all your attachments to the past. You are the product of the choices you are making right now, not of what you did back then. Circumstances do not make a man. They reveal him. Detach from the outcome. Be in the moment. Enjoy your activities for the sheer joy of the action rather than how they will turn out. No one knows enough to be a pessimist. You possess the power of choice. There is nothing outside yourself to blame for your cravings or unhealthy addictions. Go to your inner kingdom, where your mind is capable of making choices that are more powerful than your cravings. Your mind is willing and able to give you a lifetime of peace and tranquility. Your mind is in charge of your health as well as your peacefulness. Change your thoughts about healing and you change your body's reactions to illness. Practice mind control to eliminate self-destructive behaviors. Catch yourself in the midst of a depressing or angry reaction and try a new way of thinking. 
No one can make you unhappy without your consent. Don't judge yourself when you make a mistake or fail to live up to some standard. Seeing ourselves as islands that are not part of the whole is the cause of our inability to find the highest, the fullest, and the richest experience in life. Imagine a wave or a drop of water considering itself separate from the ocean. It is weak when it is not part of the ocean. Learn to live unseen and unknown, free of the need to be noticed. Take time out of your day for periods of solitude. Be silent. Quiet the loud noises in your life. Practice giving anonymously to anyone in need, not asking for praise. Live your life as if this were the only day of your life. The answer to consistent creativity is to begin it, and then the work will be completed. You must move to begin the implementation of your inspiration. Surround yourself with doers. You become what you think about. Be careful about any thoughts you harbor that involve doubt. The beat you hear within yourself is your connection to your soul's purpose. Whatever it is you feel compelled to be or do is the voice of your soul pleading with you to have the courage to listen and act on the melody only you hear. Listen to the voice you hear and the drumbeat only you can feel and honor it. Everything is a circle and every living creature is part of the sacred hoop of life. Everywhere is the center of the world. Everything is sacred. See the genius in everyone you encounter. Just as the mountain cannot crack a nut, though it can carry a forest on its back. Our body is a funeral march to the grave, but the God within will never know such a thing as a burial. Pretend it is both the first and the last time you are having this experience. Everything you see. Everything you experience with your senses will someday be quiet dust. Yet the part of you that is noticing all this is never the quiet dust. Regret is an appalling waste of energy. You cannot build on it. The most devastating scenario imaginable is to face death knowing that because of some imagined fear, you have always chosen the half-lived life in which you avoided doing the things that your heart beckoned you to do. There is no such thing as failure. Failing is a judgment that we humans place on a given action. You cannot fail. You can only produce results. Happy thoughts make happy molecules. We attract into our lives the very thing we fear the most. We attract to ourselves that which repels us. The process of forming a picture in our minds is referred to as visualization. There is an invisible vibratory field of energy surrounding all living objects. Your field of energy radiates at whatever vibratory frequency you generate. Our thoughts, that invisible part of our humanity, determine everything about our physical, visible self, which is the major chunk of our earthly existence. Begin to see yourself as a soul with a body, rather than a body with a soul. Where do things come from? Particles are not responsible for their own creation. The world of the seen comes from the world of the unseen. Thank you for watching.